how can we specify a certain tensor t? Fortunately, a tensor is linear. This means that it suffices to specify what happens to our basis vectors. So we need to choose a basis first. Ah, when we have chosen this basis, the three images of the basis vector fully determine our tensor t. So in other words, nine numbers will specify our tensor. Let's call them t11, t12, t13, and then t21, and so on until t33. Obviously, we like to put them in a matrix, but how shall we do this? We will do this in such a way that it is similar to what you have learned in linear algebra. So, how do we do this? That is what you will learn in this video. Okay, we will define the components of our tensor t as follows. Suppose we have our t of e1, then we say we can expand this t of e1 in e1, e2 and e3 of course, t of e1 is some vector with some components, so we can expand uh, uh, the vector t e1 in our standard basis, and then we call these components of t e1 t11 t21 and t31. That is a choice we make. So there's a choice here. That is how we choose our uh, components t11, t21 and t31. Similarly for the t of e2. So we have our e2, we compute t of e2, and we get some vector, we can write down the components of t of e2, and we call these components, the first, second, and third, t12, t22, and t32. And similarly to te3, uh, defines the components t13, t23, and t33. So that is a choice we make. A consequence of the choice, you can see it already, is that the t of ei, so what you basically have it, uh, is that you uh, sum here over the first component, so you have t11 e1, t21 e2, t31 e3, so the t of e1 e equals tj1 ej, or the t ei equals the tgi ej. Which may look a bit odd. Why do we do it like this? Why do we choose the t, tij, so like this? Because now we put tei equals tji, ej. Why don't, didn't we do it the other way around? Well, we'll see that this choice is really convenient because it will give us a result we know already from linear algebra. Let's see why this is. So, from this consequence, First consequence, tei equals tji ej, learn this one by heart. We'll have a second consequence, learn this one by heart as well, that tij equals inner product ei inner product tej. So, why is that? We will first compute the inner product tei inner product with ek. Then we substitute the Consequence 1, we had TEI over there, so that TEI equals TJI EJ, and a product EK. Well, the TGIs are just numbers, so you can take them in front, so that's what's happening over here. And we have an EJ and a product EK, always pick an orthonormal basis, so the, this equals delta JK, and we can execute a sum. TJ, TJI delta JK summing over J gives you a TKI. So TKI equals this inner product over here, EK inner product TEI. And then of course if you uh, rename the, in, uh, the indices you obviously get consequence 2. So TIJ equals EI inner product TEJ. Second consequence important, we will use it a lot in future derivations, so learn this one by heart. Um, moving on to the relation with linear algebra. Now, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to put our tij's in the matrix in the normal way. 
So we choose the matrix of T as T11, T12, T13, T21, T22, T23, T31, T32, T33. Just as it is like here. And then a consequence of putting the numbers like this in the matrix is of course that the matrix of T consists of, uh, of columns TE1, TE2 and TE3. Because our TE1, here it is, has its components T11, T21, uh, T31, which you put as first column over there in your matrix. So a consequence of uh, this definition over here is the cons consequence 3, that the matrix of T just consists of the columns TE1, TE2, TE3. And that's exactly the same as you learned for linear mappings in linear algebra. So that is why this definition is so convenient, because you can really copy and paste everything you know from linear algebra. So we do a small example, determine the components of T, where for our T we have T E1 equals uh, 4E1 plus E2 and so on. Now the T of E1 equals 4 times E1 plus 1 times E2 plus 0 times E3. So the first column of uh, T equals 4, 1, 0. The T E2 equals uh, 2 times E1 plus 0 times E2 plus 3 times E3. So the second column will be 2, 0, 3. Ah, T E3 equals minus 1 E1 plus 3 E2 plus 1 times E3. So our third column will be minus 1, 3, 1. So there we have our matrix T. And as you uh, may notice, this is exactly the same as you learned in linear algebra.